and I don't plan on quitting, on, on, uh, on being a voice uh, for this profession. A one-on-one -on -one with Art Acevedo days after getting fired as Miami police chief. NBC6 reporter Alyssa Hyman is live in Miami with that interview. I don't think there was a thing I could have said if you really look at what's been happening that would have changed the outcome. That was a predetermined outcome. Ousted Miami Police Chief Art Acevedo sitting down with NBC for a one-on-one -on -one interview less than a week after the city commission voted to fire him about six months into the job. I've never experienced as a police executive um, what I've experienced here, which was really uh, elected officials uh, inserting themselves in operations, inserting themselves in um, the work of the department in terms of our priorities and how we should proceed with investigations, so on and so forth. The unanimous decision to fire Acevedo came following a trial-like hearing. Commissioners critical of his job performance and public persona. More specifically, they claim he lost the trust of the rank and file, used offensive language at a protest, and said the force was run by the Cuban mafia, something Acevedo, who's Cuban himself, says he regrets saying. Yes, because it was used uh, for political uh, gain by some. But also, I, I do believe that members of the exile community, some of them that I'm a part of, I'm part of that exile community, uh, that, it, uh, that it was hurtful uh, to them. He had a policy of do as I say, not as I do. He fired scores of police officers. He demoted many others. Miami Commissioner Joe Carollo responding Monday night. He was one of the commissioners Acevedo accused in an eight-page memo of interfering with investigations and operations, which Carollo says are simply not true. Um, nobody from the city government, certainly I did not, uh, I didn't serve myself in anything in police matters. And Acevedo said he was recruited to come here to help reform the department and move it forward. He said he believes he was firing for doing his job. Now, we did speak to Miami Mayor Francis Suarez last Friday and asked him why he didn't do more to keep Acevedo. Suarez said he didn't think it was in the best interest of the city. For now, we're live tonight in Miami. Alyssa Hyman, NBC6 News.